Shalom. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arachakurash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Now it's time for you, Jakes, to finally realize that you were brought here to serve your punishment and then to be delivered from that land of your punishment. You was not brought over here to prosper. Um, the, the curses are not uh, defeated. All right? <laughs> the curses are not defeated. Now, you know, we've been saying, you know, for quite some time now that uh, these politicians, these uh, Democrats, they're not for you. Um, they use you, <laughs> but once they uh, use you, they discard you. All right, you you have no real value, you know. You're you're not esteemed, all right, because you're under that curse. All right, the scriptures say in the uh, in the law that we will not be reckoned among the nations, and this is why we're disregarded. You know, all these other nations they get special treatment over you. You know, they get acknowledgement for their uh, woes. For their so-called uh, hardships, they get laws passed in their favor. You know, certain bills and legislation. But what do you get? Stop trusting in this damn devil, man. You're thinking that they're going to put you in a position to win. It's not going to happen. So, I said all that because I'm just responding to this... Uh, Video right here. This is from an African diaspora news channel, and uh, pretty much they're covering um, the California reparations, um, you know, final turnout. And um, you know, a lot of those Californians, they were thinking that they were gonna, you know, get all this money in, in reparations, um, and they come to find out they ain't getting shit, which we already knew. All right, and, and you can't be surprised, shocked, none of that. You already know this. They are just entertaining it, you know, just to play a mind game with you to keep you hopeful, you know, keeping you uh, occupied and you know trusting this damn system. But uh, as you can see, they keep <laughs> they keep screwing you over, time after time. So this is what you jigs get, all right? So let me play this uh, little clip. Right? I'm not going to play the whole video, but I'm going to play some of it. So y'all remember a couple of years ago when California was like the first state uh, to talk about reparations for black Californians who were descendants of slavery? And everybody was so excited, including me, because I'm from California, right? So we were waiting to hear what the study was going to produce. And, well, they said what it is. Now I want to read y'all this very, very short article from the Associated Press in regards to what the findings were. It says, Black lawmakers in California on Wednesday introduced a package of reparation legislations, calling it a starting point to atone for the state's legacy of discrimination. The California's Legislative Black Caucus introduced the package of more than a dozen proposals months after its first in the nation reparations task force sent a report two years in the making to lawmakers recommending rather how the state should apologize and offer re redress to black Californians. The package doesn't include widespread direct cash payments to black families. Quote, we are witnessing the effects of the longstanding institution of slavery and how that impacts our communities, Democratic Assembly member Mike Gibson said at a press conference at the state capitol. Also says the proposal must now garner political support as the state faces a massive budget deficit. Reparations advocates were quick to criticize the package exclusion of widespread compensation. Other critics said many of the proposals fall outside of the scope of reparations, and some say they would be too costly to implement. So basically... <laughs> it would be too costly to, <laughs> to implement. 
<laughs> but it's not too costly for them to keep sending uh, aid packages to, to, to Ukraine. It's, it's not too costly for them to continue to send multi-billions in, in reparations to uh, <laughs> the small hats. All right. The, the uh, Israel, Zionist Israeli state. That's where that's where your reparations are going, Jake. You're they, they're taking what they would be able to give you and they're sending it overseas. To your enemies. So. They're, they're putting it in your face, they're showing you in, in <laughs> right in your face. All right. What they really, truly uh, feel about you and what they intend for you. All right. You, you're 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 not going to be given anything that's going to put you in a position to win. They really collapsed the dollar, giving it, spreading it ab abroad to fulfill their wicked, evil agenda, which is the, the, the new world system. And they're not going to waste money on 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 you. Now, you're not that important to them. You're not as valuable. Even though you've been used, all right, over the past half a millennium to actually uh, 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 accumulate wealth for this for this devil through your hard slave labor. Was that in the wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter? They they were not um they get um they made no account of his labors. That they're not going to do that. All right, you were used. Okay. And this was, you know, more than this was your punishment. All right. You were you were brought over here not for your destruction, but because you moved the Lord to wrath. So this is what the Lord did. But that don't mean that these nations ain't gonna eventually pay up. They're gonna pay up in a different way. We've been trying to tell you, Jakes. The real true reparations is when we get them in the kingdom. That's when we're gonna get all the reparation that we that we need. All right, we're going to do unto them as they have done unto us. Re Revelation 13, 9 and 10, that's that's reparation. All right. Jeremiah 30 and 16, that's reparation. Numbers 35 and uh, 33. When this, when this land, this land mass uh, 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 gets destroyed, all the Lord's going to be doing is he's going to shed the blood of the people who shedded the blood on this soil. All right. So let me get this real quick. Let me get a uh, Proverbs 20. Was it 25? 25 and 19. And it says, confidence in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. All right. And, you know, we we in hard times now. Every most of the people are doing bad. You got to make over six figures to, to, to really live in a stable situation. All right. And more than half the, the population ain't, ain't doing like they ain't doing it like that. So we're we're in a time of, uh, of of you know trouble, economic hardship, and Jake's still waiting on reparation. You putting your trust in this damn man, and look and and, and look <laughs> look what you get in return. Nothing. All right. Um, this is in the Amplified version. It says like a broken tooth or an unsteady foot. It's confidence in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble. You know, I don't know why I keep looking to him for help. Okay. And I'm, let me show this real quick. This was on TikTok. This is how they feel. Hold up. gone out of committee. Mm -hmm. California, it has gone out of committee. 
to approve slave reparations to be paid to people who were never slaves, to be paid for by people who never owned slaves, in a state that never had slaves. That's... And that's, you know, them pretty much making a mockery of, you know, you Jakes that think that you deserve uh, reparations in California, in which he's not wrong about what he's saying. But uh, they're not they're not saying the same shit about them small hats. Because, uh, you know, last I checked, um, they're getting paid reparations by country that did not cause the so-called Holocaust. All right. And you're getting sent reparations by people who have no involvement in the so-called Holocaust in landmass. <laughs> all right. That the, the so-called Holocaust didn't happen then. Why not talk about that too? Why should we continue to give them billions of dollars in aid every year? Why? We, we, we didn't do that uh, uh, almost 100 years ago. All right? It didn't happen over here in this land. So why do we need to pay out of our taxpayer money for that shit? So they're showing you that you know, when it comes to us, we, we, we don't hold no accountability for that. We, we're not responsible. But when it comes to them, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll be responsible. So what does that show? That you're not regarded among the nations, man. They have no concern for you. Numbers 23 and 9. It says, for from the top of the rocks I see him. And from the hills I behold him, lo, the people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. And, it, and this is what you're seeing. Now you, you're really on your own, Jake. You've always been. This is why you need to turn to the Most High, your, your, your maker, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because we can, uh, I mean, we're, we, we were to be separate and holy from the rest of the people. But the Lord was going to be the one who was going to uh, uh, make us his inheritance. Now, we were going to be over the nations. We we're going to be over the world. But right now, since you're on the bottom, the nations, they completely disregard you. This is uh, from the Hebrew word, uh, chashab. And in the definition, it says, to think, plan, esteem, calculate, Invent, make a judgment, imagine, count, to think, account, to plan, devise, mean, to charge, impute, reckon, to esteem, value, regard, to be accounted, be thought, be esteemed. It ain't thinking about you. You know, despite all of the, the factual information that's come out, all right, concerning, uh, the atrocities that Jake suffered over here, you know, from Gad to Reuben to Issachar. All right. The, all the land that they uh, took by slaughter. You know. And they exploited us. That's all they did. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 29. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, 29, it says, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Meaning you won't be redeemed. You will not be restored. You will not get no reparation. There ain't no man going to be here to do it. These nations, they actually rejoice over Jake being down. The AMP translation, it says, and you will be groping at noon in broad daylight, just as the blind grope in the dark darkness and nothing you do will prosper, but you will only be oppressed and exploited and robbed continually with no one to save you. 
See that? Let me uh, jump down to um, verse 33. says that people whom you do not know will eat the produce of your hand. It's like you're of your land and all the products of your labors. And you will never be anything but oppressed and exploited and crushed continually. The, 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 the curses are undefeated, man. I don't know what, what Jake was expecting. No matter what you do, no matter what you produce for this, this society, it will not be regarded. Okay? Because their whole job is to keep you from being a nation. You, you will not be allowed to get no head start. You will not be allowed to win. They allow a few token Negroes to, to get through. But they, they're uh, compromised and, and, and they're used. That's the only reason that they'll allow a few niggas to be prosperous and succeed. All right. Esau got to have a hand in that, in that success. All right. So let me go from there. And let me get a. Uh, Isaiah 30, Isaiah 31. It's Isaiah 30 and one, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And that's what, that's, this is what Jake do. All right. And they still trusting in the strength of Pharaoh. All right. Because uh, you got the elections in which Jake is going to, they're going to be heavily uh, participating in, in, in that whole circus Still not understanding that These political parties They have nothing to do with you They're not for your uh, general interest man They're controlled opposition Working for their overlords The, the, the international banking families Jake just they, But they can't seem to get up out of The damn matrix man Get out of freaking la la land but they're under strong delusion, believing in a lie, man. Because they've been here too, too freaking long. So this is what Jake get. It says, therefore shall the, the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and a trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. So Jake, they gotta, you, you got to figure it out on your own. You know, the Lord already tried to sh uh, give you counsel through his prophets, his men. To show you what it is. This is this, is, this system... We're not to put our trust into. All right, Isaiah 30 and 12, it says, Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay therein. You know, you put your trust, you confide in, 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 in oppression, because that's all you get here. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. And this, all this shit is going to fall apart. All right. We're in the midst of a societal collapse and it's going to start with, you know, civil unrest, chaos. All right. You know, people uh, going out into the streets trying to figure out what, what's going on. Then it's going to just end in all out calamity. Okay. Okay. So this is not who you put your trust into. So let me uh, play a little bit more of this and we'll close out. In a nutshell, black Californians who are descendants of slaves are not getting no money. Now, y'all know these proposals are things like education, you know, and uh, the prison system, which is the predominantly black people in prison, disproportionately, I should say, you know, some remedies there. And that's an, 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 an age. The, the the 
and the the prison industrial complex is it you know how much money that generates from the labor that they get from locking all these negroes up they're they're pretty much 14 amendment slaves Isn't, that's modern day slavery the prison penitentiary system and california is filled with that hey remember going back to a uh, crime bill joe and you also when kamala harris when she was uh, a da in the bay area man it was steady locking niggas up little weed marijuana charges and stuff like that and that's what they they maximize and exploit all that prison slave labor and all these corporations they they get manufacturing from the prisons but you're not worth you you're not worthy you you're not uh reckoned okay you're just a slave so you really don't have a true identity to these people Jake better 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 wake the hell up, man. Housing and this, that, and the other. So basically they're saying we're gonna tell y'all how to spend your money, right? And we're like, no, we want money. Now listen to what they said at the end. He's talking about, oh well, yeah, they don't do that with anybody else. Hell, right now, the, these damn migrants do that are not native to the country. They're coming over here and they're getting better treatment than than Jake. They coming over here and they're getting free housing. Jake getting threatened to get evicted because they're a few days <laughs> late on their on their rent. Right? They coming over here and they're getting more food stamps than than you. This is where the, a lot of all this money is is they they choose to to, to spread their money wherever they want to spread it. But they're putting it right in your face that you're not first priority. We don't care if you've been over here and you built this place up and we have a history. That don't matter. <laughs> it's too expensive. You know, basically, we don't know where we're finding money. Um, I want to say this to Gavin Newsom, the governor there of California. Y'all found the money to give to the migrants. When you talk about all migrants, regardless of what their uh, immigration status is, they're going to get full health care. That's going to cost $2.6 billion a year. Did y'all have to find the money? They talk about, oh, California, you know, the budget is tight. But it wasn't tight enough for people who ain't even supposed to be here. But black Californians who were descendants of slavery, y'all ain't got it. Y'all gonna tell us how to spend the money, education, housing, and this, that, and the other. Y'all should be doing all that anyway. They ain't even gonna allow Jake to not pay taxes. You still gotta pay taxes. <laughs> they ain't even gonna do that. That that'd be a, a good sign of you know paying Jake back. Not not allowing Jake to pay uh, taxes, which is fucking illegal any damn way. But come on, man. When it come to you, uh, yeah, I ain't got it. Yeah, we, we ain't got it, man. But when it come to everybody else, oh, yeah, everybody, hey, we got y'all. Don't trip. So they're, they're, they're telling you, Jake. So what, is, what should that tell you? That you need to turn back to your, your maker, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy I was shy? All right. This is over with. That's that he's the most eyes all you have. <laughs> Let me get a. Uh, uh, was that lamentation four? And it says, as for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. For in our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. And the Lord's not going to let no nation save you. Because that's not how you're going to be saved. You're going to be saved by Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, man. He's going to be the one to redeem us from out of the hand of our captivity. And when he comes back and he uh, take the kingdom, all right, he's going to make his enemies his, his footstool. All right. And 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 the the his dominion, he's gonna be able to take 
possession of, of, of the heathen and all that pertains to that. The, the, the land, and that's when the reparation is going to be turned over to us. That's how we're going to get it. Not, not you know, waiting on somebody to, to come bring us a bag or your government giving you, uh, uh, you know, trillions of dollars in Federal Reserve notes. That's not going to work out, man. All right. So, yeah, man, that, that that's this is where we at with it. And uh, you jakes, man, you got to be ashamed of yourself. If you really thought you was ever going to get, you know, trillions of dollars, man, from this devil, he ain't going to give you nothing. So that that's that, man. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to, to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, and to the next lesson. Shalom.